The Lipstick Lover of Me couldn't resist and I went ahead and purchased all the shades of the new Westman Atelier Lip Soy Matte Lipsticks. Yes, you heard me right, all of the shades. <laughs> because today we're going to do, as per usual, my review, demo, swatches, both on my arms, on my lips, you know the drill. We have been on a lipstick kick lately, right? We have seen so many new releases. I just reviewed the new Chanel lipsticks from the Nuit Blanc collection also the new tom for slim lipsticks i have done swatches and review of the prada lipsticks they have added new shades also the new clay depot the precious lipsticks what else Cajlan lip oils charlotte tilbury and her new lipstick collection too i mean so many lipsticks everywhere so i'm gonna be very honest with you this gets me excited because I really didn't like the Westman Atelier lipstick on the compact. Not that I dislike them completely, but it was something that, okay, not easy of use. I don't know. It just, it wasn't my vibe. I love and appreciate them seeing them on the pan, but that was as far as it goes. So when I saw these babies coming, I'm like, ooh. I really want to try them. Although I'm not crazy about matte finishes, but coming from Westman Atelier keeps me positive. They come in 10 different shades. They are made in Italy. They come with 3.8 grams of product. The packaging is divine to say the least. So beautiful. On the bottom where you see the barcode, they are also color coded and they are refillable. I will be leaving all the details of these lipsticks on the description box below along with the links because first they launched at Westman Atelier website but we all know that Westman Atelier is carried at various retailers so I will be leaving all those details on the description box below and as of what I know right now is that the refills will be coming later so there is a little sign up at Westman Atelier website if you're interested on the refills. And if you don't know, Westman Atelier is a vegan brand so these lipsticks they have zero silicones, no talc, no phthalates, no PEGs and the lipsticks are infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E, peptide, kaolin clay, metal foam extract which helps to seal the moisture on your lips. There's also castor oil on these formulation and there is a very particular <laughs> <laughs> little note from Westman Atelier, well, from Gucci Westman, regarding the preparation before applying these lipsticks, which is not uncommon. And I do a lot, a ton of lipstick swatches here on my channel. Perhaps those are my most viewed videos, whether are from Dior, Chanel, I mean, you name it. But I always prepare my lips. First of all, before I apply any makeup, before... It, regardless if whether I'm going to be doing a lipstick video or not in daily basis I like to exfoliate my lips and that's something that you should do is not an all three you can do it with a paper towel with a regular towel you can do it with a little bit of sugar if you don't have an exfoliator i like a couple exfoliators i will be leaving those on the description box below too if you're curious on the ones that i use i have one that i take it on the go all the time and before i start my makeup application i always put some sort of lip balm or lip treatment one of them this one by Patrick Ta is excellent. Also the one from Laneige. And then my latest obsession, this one by La Mer is an amazing lip treatment. This doesn't have any shade. There are some new shades too, which I'm very excited. I'm ready to pick up those too. But this is a great lip treatment if you want your lips to feel a little bit plump without the pain. Also a great other product that I have been using for years that I have stopped using it, not because I don't like it, but because I have this one on hand, but it's the one by Algenis. And that one has also collagen. So it's always good to prepare the lips. Now Gucci Westman suggests to keep the lip balm and on top to apply the lipstick, which is something that you may want to do if you are not familiar with matte lipsticks, which in general, they tend to be a little bit drying, but because of the ingredient list, I'm thinking that, and hopefully crossing my fingers, they will not be so drying. Okay, friends, let me show you the packaging because they are stunning. Look at this beauty. And by the way, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Jacqueline and I would love for you to become part of the family by subscribing to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And if you're in Instagram and TikTok, well, <laughs> come and follow me there. I film with a 4K camera in natural light. Today is kind of rainy and gloomy and whatnot, but the lighting, I think it's really, really good. So you can see these products to perfection, but look at this beauty. The component is so alike to their blushes. 
magnetic you have no idea i was doing some reels trying to capture some images i did it i did it so go give that content some support if you're on instagram or tiktok because believe me when i'm telling you these are magnetized and the magnet are just so stubborn and strong that to align them was was a challenge <laughs> definitely i had to play some physics there but anyhow they are magnetized as i was telling you these are refillable so you can take out this bar there is not really a mechanism to twist and actually make them go up or down so you really have to have kind of your case unless i mean i don't know if you just have a screwdriver you can try to do so but to refill it because it's heavy magnetized you just put it in and it clasps in there right away the beauty is even on the details on the cap. If you can see right here, it says Westman Atelier all around it. Super beautiful. I mean, like this are gorgeous. And the way to twist them up, you need to handle it from this side right here and then just twist it like such. Look at the details on the bullet. It has the Westman Atelier signature with the little hearts and the WA and the price on these lipsticks is a $50 each. Oh, so pretty. Okay, friends, lipstick swatches are done. I went ahead and reapply one of my very favorite shades, FLG. Um, it's funny, I have no idea what FLG stands for. I'm all at school, do not, <laughs> do not come for me. I even Google it, and what does the definition said? feel like god so feel like goddess or i mean i have no idea but yeah i feel like a goddess <laughs> with this shade is gorgeous look look at how vibrant this is now these lipsticks they lie effortlessly like full opacity they are so smooth on the lips they are not heavy and they have this kind of cushiony like feeling but again very very lightweight the pigment they are ultra saturated like you can tell by the swatches and when i was applying it's like wow these are effortless now in terms of the finish they are not ultra matte at least not all of the shades for example this shade it has a little bit of a sheen that makes it look a little bit more like a satin finish while other shades like for example this brown one I could tell it, it was a matte finish and I really love it because when I was applying it, like when I went lightly, like I didn't press on the lip, it just left me with a gorgeous shade. Now when I went like in full, it gave me this full opacity that was really impressive. So I think these shades, you, you can work them out. I mean, like any other lipstick, right? You can apply it with a brush or apply it on the center and then with a brush kind of feather it out and make it perfect for you. 
what I have to tell you is that I don't feel that they are drying because I mean I applied yes the first shade I had already the lip balm well not really lip balm but the La Mer lip treatment that I adore it love it but then afterwards I remove it and then I kept going with the next shade and the next shade and the next shade and I never felt like my lips felt dry. If anything, I just find out that the deepest shades, mostly this shade and the red shades, they do leave a little bit of a stain, a tiny bit. Because of the formula, I think they will create gray blushes too in a way you know if you want to tap it in a little and you just want to spread it a little bit with your fingers or with a sponge or a brush say you use the same brush that you use for foundation you can have that monochromatic look and because of that little bit of a stain also becoming a blush that is a little bit more bulletproof do you need to do so with that no it's just you know an idea we have always done it it's most definitely not a new trick at all and whatsoever now i will have to report back with you because some of you have sent me messages through instagram letting me know hey are you picking up these new west Mediterranean lipsticks and i said yes some of them they told me oh they are drying they are too mad i don't feel that they are too mad no, not at all. I mean, Prada, those are matte, matte formula. And the Prada lipsticks are a comfortable formula. And these ones, I feel them comfortable too. I don't feel them drying. Now, some of you are going to ask me, what about the Chanel? Because they are supposed to be the Rouge Allure Velvet. They are honestly more like Rouge Allure. I don't know why they added the Velvet. They should have just kept it at Rouge Allure. But anyhow, <laughs> I digress. Going back to this lipstick by Westman Atelier, I don't find that to be drying, to emphasize my lines. I mean, like I said, I'm filming with a 4K camera in natural light. I don't see that they are emphasizing my lines or that they are any drying. I'm honest with you, I wrap up this video and I give you my final thoughts, but um, I'm just feeling something. Nothing bad, nothing bad. Let me tell you, these lipsticks, they are, like I said before, comfortable, ultra pigmented, elegant packaging beautiful formulation very i mean like super pigmented and beautiful but yes as the day progress as you have them on your lips are not gonna feel like over over drying but you're gonna feel there's a little bit of this sensation i don't know if it comes from the clay that the lipstick sticks on it and it feels like it's kind of like instead of providing moisture like absorbing the hydration and there is something very important to note here and that is that whenever you have a product that has hyaluronic acid it's very important that you have trap underneath whether your skin your lips the hydration and the way to do it is you can apply first a moisturizer or a light lotion or in this case because of the lips a lip balm and that's why Gucci Westman was so particular in putting on her description to use a lip balm obviously she's referring to one of her products you can use any but I think that is key and very important I don't feel like my lips feel uncomfortable drying like raisins or nothing like that but I think it's super important to follow those directions unfortunately not everybody is going to see it I mean hopefully this video gets to so many people that's why it's so important that if you like this video if it serves you of any help if it's informative to give it a like because that's the way that YouTube pushes on the algorithm x video so that it could help others because the product is really good i love all the different shades and the finish is beautiful it's not ultra matte it does have a little bit of this satiny kind of finish but if say you try it and you're a person that first of all you do not prepare your lips you do not exfoliate your lips and you don't use a base lip balm underneath you may be a little bit discouraged. Is it the driest lipstick in the market? No way. They are liquid lipsticks that they will suck the life out of you, <laughs> that they will leave your lips like a mummy and yeah, so bad. This is not, I mean, this is very elegantly done and 
that's all my friends and now i would love to hear from you which of these shades are calling your name did you pick up any of these lipsticks or you are adding them to cart immediately let's continue that conversation in the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i would invite you to do something that is completely free and that i will greatly appreciate it it is to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell because believe me you don't want to miss any of my uploads so if you're on instagram and tiktok come and follow me there if you like this video if it serves you of any help why not give it a thumbs up and go a little bit further share it with family and friends and if you're not done watching my content well i will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye, -bye.